The following video provides information regarding a U.S. Border Patrol involved death in custody, which occurred on March 21, 2024, in San Diego, California. CBP is committed to being a leader in law enforcement accountability and transparency. A portion of this incident was captured on multiple agents' body worn cameras. That footage is being released today in compliance with CBP policy and the May 25, 2022 Executive Order on Advancing Effective Accountable Policing and Criminal Justice Practices to Enhance Public Trust and Public Safety. CBP began issuing body worn cameras in 2021 and continues to expand their deployment nationwide. Body worn cameras are worn at chest level and capture a general perspective within line of sight from that angle. The camera angle prohibits viewers from seeing everything the agent or officer saw and experienced. Upon activation, both audio and video will turn on. However, there is a two minute buffer of video without audio from prior to activation. This feature is designed to capture incidents that occur suddenly where an agent or officer does not immediately activate their camera. On March 21, 2024, at approximately 10.27 p.m., the U.S. Border Patrol Tactical Communications Center reported via service radio that multiple individuals carrying a ladder were approaching the secondary international border fence, approximately 2.5 miles east of the San Ysidro port of entry. At this location, the secondary international border fence is approximately 30 feet tall and is constructed of vertical metal bollards. The north side of the secondary fence has an electrical conduit running across the top of the fence, which facilitates the use of an electric gate nearby. At approximately 10.30 p.m., a Border Patrol agent arrived on scene between the primary and secondary fences at the base of the secondary international border fence. The agent observed a woman on top of the fence and advised the woman not to go over the fence or attempt to scale down the north side of the fence. Shortly thereafter, the woman crossed to the north side of the secondary fence and attempted to scale down, but was unable to continue her descent. At approximately 10.31 p.m., the agent transmitted over radio that the woman was stuck on the north side of the secondary fence and requested the San Diego Fire Department be notified. The woman began yelling for assistance, and the agent advised her that help was on the way. At approximately 10.33 p.m., the agent told the woman to hold on and not let go, and advised her the fire department was en route with a ladder. At approximately 10.34 p.m., an unknown individual approached the north side of the fence from a nearby commercial lot and asked the agent if a ladder that was left on the ground could be used to help the woman. The agent advised the individual that they could not utilize any ladders until the fire department personnel arrived. At approximately 10.35 p.m., the agent apprehended another migrant who was walking along the south side of the secondary international border fence. The following are U.S. Border Patrol radio transmissions from the incident. The traffic from Middle Rock Cactus. Cactus. Got one body running through the truck lot. First body just went behind dirt mounds. Dirt mounds. You guys. North of the secondary. They're in that truck lot. Bodies are east of the dirt mound heading north. I've lost eyes on them behind that mound. There's two backhoes just north of that dirt mound. It looks like they're walking over there. Hey, I got someone on the on on, on top of the secondary. Can someone um can someone come on uh, north of the secondary? Go ahead. Ten four heading that way. Cactus north of the secondary. We got a single female stuck on top. You guys step down. Copy. Female stuck on top of the secondary? North side was still stuck on the secondary. On the north side of the secondary. 10 4. I'll call the fire department. 10 4. Uh, we wait. The following body worn camera video was captured by one of the agents involved in this incident. The initial part of this video was recorded during the two minute buffer period and does not have any audio. These videos contain graphic content. Viewer discretion is advised. Uh -huh. 
Escúchame bien, no te bajes, no te bajes. Quédate ahí. No, no hagas eso. No, no, no hagas eso. Quédate ahí. ¿Entiende? ¿Entiende? Van a venir a ayudarte. Quédate ahí. Escúchame, agárrate bien y no... Escúchame. Escúchame, no te bajes. Va a venir una ambulancia. Digo, va a venir un, un, unos bomberos. Te van a ayudar. No. Hey, I got someone on the on 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 top of the secondary. Can someone um can someone come on uh, north of the secondary? Quédate ahí, no te bajes, por favor, por favor. Por eso. A, aguántate mucho arriba del, del, del eso. Ok, quédate ahí. No te... No te... Copy. Yeah, we're gonna need a ladder right here, just um, like cactus north of the secondary. We got a single female stuck on top. Uh, 10 for She's on the north side, but still stuck on the second end. On the north side of the second end. Vente para acá! Hey, ven hasta para acá! 10 for Ah, we wait. Quédate ahí, ahorita va a venir la, el departamento de, de eso con una escalera. It's gonna be uh, east of Cactus Day. No, 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 ahorita va a venir el departamento, ahorita va a venir el departamento de trabajo. Ven acá, ven acá. Quédate ahí, agárrate bien, ahorita va a venir el, el, los bomberos. Ven acá. ¿Dónde está la otra señora? Para allá. Ven acá, ven acá. I know there's a female going. Venga para acá. Quédese ahí, no se mueva, solamente manténgase bien. Siéntese ahí. ¿Quién es la otra señora? ¿Ah? ¿De dónde es usted? De Caragua. Bájese ahí. ¿De dónde es la otra señora? Siéntese. No, manténgase bien agarrada. ¿Cómo? No, es que no podemos poner escaleras hasta que venga el departamento de, de bomberos. No podemos hacer nada. Sí, no, no, no se puede hacer nada. Que, quédese ahí, no se baje. Uh, va a venir el departamento de bomberos. Quédese ahí, solamente sosténgase. No, de, no, no se suelte. At approximately 10.45 p.m., a second agent arrived on scene, followed by a San Diego Fire Department fire truck. The first agent on scene explained to the newly arrived agent and fire department personnel that the woman was stuck on the north side of the secondary fence. The second agent and the fire department truck departed the scene at approximately 10.47 p.m. 
and headed toward a nearby gate that provides access to the north side of the international border fence, approximately 520 feet east of the woman's location. Because of the size of the fire truck, it could not navigate the sharp west turn to enter into the gate and took an alternate route to reach the woman's location. The following body-worn camera video was captured by one of the agents involved in this incident. She's on, she's on top, but she's on the other side. Um, actually, the same way that you guys came up, uh, but instead of uh, turning this way, uh, just go on, on, on north of the secondary. Can you bring you north? Because that's the way they're gonna. That's the way they're gonna. Where's she at? On top, but on the other side. Uh, I know. That's what I was calling. She's on the north side. Yeah, because I've got him over here because I was prepared to move the kid right there. No, 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 no. So. So she's she's all the way to the top. All right. So. Get up there, the Probably. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, he's. Um, he's he's gonna bring you guys back or probably cactus, but um. Yeah. Right here. Yeah. Where's he at? Over here, right? Yeah. 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 He, he's gonna he's gonna open the gate behind you guys. He can turn around. That's, that's the only way, sorry about that. Get this thing. You didn't have a ladder to go across the secondary. They do not. At approximately 10.48 p.m., the woman yelled she was struggling to hold on to the fence. The agent at the base of the south side of the fence told the woman the fire department would be there to assist within minutes. At approximately 10.50 p.m., an agent arrived on the north side of the fence at the woman's location. The woman began yelling for them to hurry and yelled she could not hold on any longer. Agents advised the woman that the firefighters were on the way with a ladder and instructed her to hold on as long as she could. At approximately 10.53 p.m., the agent on the north side of the fence drove away to meet with other agents and coordinate the transportation of other migrants apprehended in the area. At approximately 10.54 p.m., the woman yelled she was going to fall then subsequently fell from the fence, striking the elevated concrete base on the north side of the secondary fence, ultimately landing on the dirt road below. The agent on the south side of the fence requested emergency medical services via service radio and advised that the woman had fallen. The following body-worn camera video was captured by one of the agents involved in this incident. Ya la van a ayudar, entienda? I'm going to, um, I mean, I can't do anything until the fire fire, are they here? I haven't seen them because I just went 15 minutes back. Where, where are they? I have no idea, bro. Can okay. you pass that ladder through the north side? Mm -hmm. Um, you can't. No? No, no. I mean... You work in mints? I am. I mean, if you pass for this guy, because I'm... Uh, you, um, can you bring him north? Listen, can you just do me a favor? Just tell her just to come down because I, I can't communicate from this side. She has to hold. I've been telling her to, that she has to hold. Entienda que los bomberos ya están de venir. I mean, it's part of the group, so I already have a, a female here, so you can, you can uh, in a minute, bring her, you know? Yeah. 
ya la van a venir a ayudar, entienda. Están trayendo a los bomberos, están trayendo a los bomberos, así que espérese. No, no, no. Copy. What are you doing, right? Yeah. Last year. Yeah, we're gonna need EMS on the north side of the border. Secondary. Um, female on top just fell. Can I get your star and location? It's gonna be the same as last. It's gonna be a cactus. Can I get the information on the injury to the female? I'm on the south side of the secondary. I'm between the fence that she fell from the north side of the fence. Secondary. I, have, I don't have a visual on the subject. She's north of me. Tim. Uh, can somebody respond to that female and check her out? Uh, the wash, uh, the uh, the wash there. Hey, is this the same spot that uh, they came out with a ladder? EMS and fire? 10-4. Four. At approximately 10.59 p.m., another agent arrived at the north side of the fence where the woman had fallen. The agent advised over radio that the woman had massive head trauma, profuse bleeding, and was unresponsive. At approximately 11.04 p.m., the San Diego Fire Department fire truck arrived at the woman's location. At approximately 11.05 p.m., fire department personnel conducted a medical assessment, noted the woman had no pulse, and initiated CPR. The following body-worn camera video was captured by one of the agents involved in this incident. Oh shit, bro. I think she's done, bro. I don't know, so. Yeah. Yep. Well, let, let paramedics come in. Yeah. Just give him a line. Where the fuck did fire go? They come between the fences or where'd they go? They come the fences, but they couldn't turn on somewhere in there, so they have to. Ah, uh, just call them. The radios is recorded. That female has massive head trauma. She's unresponsive. Was EMS still? 10-4.
Yeah, she fucking fell and hit her head, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Why do you want to look at this? Uh. Um, oh. Yeah, she, she's. So we'll probably have to make room for firefighters and ambulance and fucking corner and all that bullshit, so. I don't know which way they're coming in, but. They came between the fences and they couldn't make that corner there, so I think they had to come all the way around. So I, I don't know. I don't know where they're coming from, but. Uh, it's, she's, yeah. Oh, so they're in between, okay. They were between the fences. Okay. They left because they couldn't make that corner, so they had to go all the way around somewhere. That might be them coming that way from behind you. So, uh, where's CMS coming from? I don't know, but I see lights there. Yeah? Yeah. Um, Back up, what? Yep, yep, uh, yep. Is that enough room or no? No? Let me let me pull into this stuff here. I'm gonna have a thing over between the fences. Oh. I think that's it. Didn't make any time, she couldn't hold on. Yeah. I'll go talk to these guys real quick here. She can hold on, man. I, uh, she got massive head trauma. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I think she's done, man. We haven't yet. I don't know if you guys just want to take a look. I'm not a medic. I'm not an EMT. I didn't check the blood. There's blood out of every hole in her body. He asked me if I wanted to call it. I said, you guys just take a look. I'm not an EMT or nothing, you know? So that, they, they just take a look real quick. They'll call the people that need to come, like the medical examiner. Yeah. It's, so where did he jump? Oh, he, I think here. This, this. Say? Yeah. Oh, this is all. Push, push, push down. That's affirmative and uh, fires on scene now. Yeah. Well, no, no I think 
the guy on the inside did. We were working traffic up elsewhere. Okay. Understood. Okay. Engine 43 Metro. They got their, their ladder right there. Engine 43. Yes, yeah, so jump in and go. Yeah. Cause this is a lot you guys are in, right? This, yeah, but see, when this place is so big, so I, it's huge. I'm not sure, are they more to the east, are they more to the west? And that's what I did. I didn't know either, because I've never driven in here before. Yeah, I've been in here before, but like, like you saw, it's massive. Engine 23, copy of it. Medic, are you responding? There's no obvious death. Not on the At approximately 11.17 p.m., medical personnel with the San Diego Fire Department at the scene telephonically contacted a physician at Scripps Mercy Hospital. The hospital physician had pronounced the woman deceased. The woman was identified as a 24-year-old citizen of Guatemala. Officers from the San Diego Police Department arrived on scene at approximately 11.43 p.m. On March 22, 2024, at approximately 1.20 a.m., Personnel from the San Diego County Medical Examiner's Office arrived on scene and assumed custody of the woman's body. An investigation is being conducted by the San Diego Police Department, the San Diego County Medical Examiner's Office, and CBP's Office of Professional Responsibility. Additionally, CBP's OPR notified the San Diego Fire Department Professional Standards Unit and the Department of Homeland Security Office of Inspector General of this incident. Links to this video, as well as public statements about this and other incidents and key accountability-related policies and data, can be found online at cbp.gov forward slash transparency.